That's so awesome. <laughs> Made it. Woo! Oh. <laughs>Okay, Christine's about to pick me up and it's already 7 p.m. and we have about a four hour drive ahead of us. She got stuck in traffic after work. So we're gonna be setting up a tent in the dark, but you know, you gotta, you gotta go with the flow. This is my new tent I've only set up once before and that was um, about two years ago. So I better grab my stuff, head down, and we'll see you in a bit. How are you? Doing arm like stretching my hips. Oh, I love that. That was the longest drive. How long did it take you? Like two hours. So Christine, 33 Lair kilometers. 33 kilometers, two hours. two hours. That's east end to west end of Toronto. That that that's, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> okay, we better get going, or we're never gonna get there. <laughs> For this adventure, we're going to be heading to the Killarney Provincial Park that is located on the Georgian Bay in Ontario, Canada. This park is made up of a vast forest, beautiful lakes, and the Laclage Mountain Range. This park is about a 4.5 hour drive from Toronto, the largest city in southern Ontario. We will be tackling the Laclage Silhouette Trail that forms a 76 kilometer loop and is rated difficult. This trail usually takes 7 to 10 days to complete, but we only got 6 to finish it. Good morning. <laughs> we just woke up. Well, I think I was up throughout the night, but we had a good sleep. It's 8 a.m. We got woke, we got payback because we were so loud last night <laughs> setting up, and then this morning we had. People were like walking and like there's a dog howling. Cars, I feel like bad for the owners of the dog because they're like, stop, stop. But yeah, but they also stop. Like, didn't, they, they could have just like take it for a walk or something. Yeah, whatever. I don't know, but wow, I open my eyes. I can't open them. There we go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, look at the bag. <laughs> we are gonna get up and get ready, pack everything up. We have to go to the office because it was closed last night uh, and get our permits. And then we're gonna be hitting the trail. Yay. Yay. So we'll see you guys when we're a little bit more alive. <laughs> <laughs> so we're repacking and Christine comes and goes, look at my hat I got this year, just for this. <laughs> You're going for a little safari. <laughs> I feel like you should be like skipping down the trail. <laughs> it's super cute though. But somehow in one night, our packs got unpacked. So I don't know. But last year our packs were like 60 pounds. So, <laughs> this, is a huge improvement. so this year we like dropped it by 20. So we're okay. pretty good. We are starting our first breakfast. So we made little baggies of food and Ryan did. Ryan did yeah. Yeah, no, well, I need your brain power, so it's good. So we have oatmeal this morning, it has a lot of uh, like a nutritional shake in it, some soy uh, milk powder and lots of dried fruit. So mm, hopefully it's yummy. Good. 
I think it's gonna get better as the week goes on, <laughs> to be honest, but yeah. for now we're gonna enjoy it. Not appealing looking, but absolutely delicious. Apples, strawberries, blueberries, you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, we just got our permits. We're on our way to the parking, so there's two options for parking. You can park really close to the end of the trail, so on the sixth day we could be close to their car, or we can park close to the beginning, and we're making the decision to park close to the beginning. We might regret it, but... <laughs> That's a Wednesday we, problem. Yeah, when, yeah, Wednesday problem. So we're about to start hiking 76 kilometers. Yes. Is that correct? Yep. And the lady warned us in the shop, she was like, you know your third day is really long, right? Like, it's the hardest part of the trail. And we're like, yeah, <laughs> typical us. That was the only thing we could get. Only left. So we're having a little bit of a later morning start, which is kind of nice. And we're gonna walk 12K today, I think. We'll see you on the trail. Bye. We're starting the trail. It's actually Woo! so easy to get to. It's right in George Lake Campground. So we're gonna have a little photo shoot to uh, commence. <laughs> but look how pretty it is already. Beautiful. Just saw a sign that said the trail was 100 kilometers. We're gonna say that's false and believe ourselves. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we'll see you on the trail. Oh my God, that's incredible though. Okay, so every sign saying it's seven to ten days, and we are gonna do it in six. Goal set. <laughs> okay, but so good do we to like know. It or not? <laughs> Hello, we're one kilometer in, so we always stop and stretch. But so far, it's been pretty good. <laughs> I think so, right? Yeah. It's hotter, hotter than we thought. Anyways, we're gonna go stretch and feel a little bit more limber. No, last time we did this, remember? But this is my favorite. I'm like really nervous. Like, I'm dying right now. I <laughs> turn around your life. friends right in there hi buddy <laughs> wants nothing to do with us but look at this dam damn, damn. <laughs> We've determined that the scenery for this hike is just all these tiny lakes and I just want to swim in every single one. We're six kilometers in, we're doing 12 kilometers today, and honestly, it wasn't even that bad. We have some as ascends and crossing some creeks and that, but honestly, it was, it was nice. So we just stopped for lunch, and we actually just used powdered peanut butter. Highly recommend for these trips. Now, it doesn't taste that good, so I wish I added some sugar. So we're gonna have some wraps, banana chips, some dried blueberries, and some peanut butter. I fit into it. Imagining like, because I have this, at home with peanut butter from like real banana. Mm. And I bit into it. Thinking it was back for like fresh banana. I'm like, oh! 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 Breaks a tooth on a banana chip. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy and then get on our way. We have six more kilometers, right? Six, six more. Six more, and it, we have so much of the day left. So we can't wait to get to the campground and go for a swim. Watch your, watch your butt because you literally have a. Oh, really? This was literally almost in it. <laughs> <laughs> we could till up here. 
Yeah, we could. <laughs> I'm just trying to film some content here. Maybe a blooper reel. <laughs> That's so awesome. How's it going? We're literally complaining about this hiking hill and how intense it is. And then we have three guys come over with a canoe, basically each, <laughs> going up these massive hills. So really shut us up real quick. <laughs> We're 10 kilometers in, and all of a sudden we're running into these abandoned sheds, like literally in the middle of the provincial park. It's, another one. I know, it's spooky boots. Like, and there's two big buildings. Oh, there's people. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> What's going on? Jokes, we're just on the we're road. <laughs> Maybe, I, we have no idea. All right, so we actually had to stop and look at the map because we didn't know exactly where our camp was. We still have a couple more kilometers, but we figured out what those buildings were. The old headquarters of the Spanish logging company, and they just left them. abandoned them, left them there, but they're still Ooh. standing. And I don't know why, but there's someone's boat there. So maybe they live on the lake or close to it, so they're able to, or the bay, so they're able to like boat to it. We have a big hill to go, and we'll see you at camp. Christine's up there. We couldn't find our campsite and it's because we, we and we haven't passed it. It's only one trail. We're trying to read the map and it's kind of complicated to see but there's a fall section and right now we're assuming these are the falls but they're dried up and our camping site is on the opposite side of this lake. There's an extra like 3.5k around this lake and we're like um we can't do that. We've already been hiking for six and a half hours today. Christine's just crossed, went up and seen if, because on the map, our trail's on that other side too. So we're, we're really, really, really hoping um, that we can see some markers. If not, then uh, we're just going to have to continue on and hope that we get to camp soon. She found the trail, so here we go. We're going to go cross and hopefully save some time. I am so hungry. beautiful though but like I'm ready to eat we are absolutely wrecked we were supposed to only do 10k and we've done what 15.5 yep. oh and it says h8 oh we took that shortcut we had no idea if we would be right and look at there sweet baby oh my god, absolutely beautiful though. So it's yeah, we're just not gonna hike anymore and we'll just <laughs> hike back out. This is the for ah! sure. <laughs> 25k tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna set up camp and relax. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. Good morning! We had a good sleep. Ended up having a windstorm in the middle of the night. So me relaxing in my sleeping bag and then all of a sudden at like 3 a.m. I'm like, what is that? All our clothing and everything was outside, hang on a tree. I was too afraid to go get it. So this morning we had to go find all our clothes amongst the forest. Uh, luckily nothing landed uh, into the water. The trail today is gonna be about 15K. Uh, we're hoping, we did some recalculations before bed, so uh, we're hoping we have it right today. If we look wrecked, it's because we are. <laughs> but it, it's the fun of it, and uh, we're just gonna roll with the punches. Okay, we'll see you on trail after breakfast. Hi. I said we were going to uh, leave right away, but we ended up having to spend some time on Christine's poor feet. Now this is a tradition, so cue back to like Superior Coastal Trail and you saw Christine's feet. Now look at them again. Even though we were so cautious yesterday, she ended up getting... Day one. Day one. Blisters in her toes. Look at her heels. Uh, and how many more kilometers do we have? 
60. 60 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> so you better wrap those feet, and if you feel anything, we're going to stop again, wrap. But we have this special tape. It's like, it's I think it's called leuco tape. Leucocyte tape? Oh, yeah. It's like a medical tape. And uh, people suggest it because it really sticks and it's really easy to cut and it's better than a band-aid. Anyways, now we're gonna hit the road and we have our 15K to do. Woo! Woo! Moment of truth, my feet. <laughs> We are 6K done! It's actually been pretty good, pretty flat. Yeah. And we just stumbled upon the most beautiful spots for lunch. Today we have some tuna, some wraps, so we're feeling pretty good. Okay, we're gonna eat, relax, and then get back on the trail. Okay, oh, it's gone. Is it gonna fly back, you think? Thank God. No, come back. Hey, I need proof. What? Did you see the stinger on that thing? Oh my God, it was humongous. We were enjoying our lovely lunch, and there's this bug that's like no joke. Like... And discussing never living inside again. <laughs> yeah, we were literally discussing being out. How some people are into camping, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But we're like, we've been living outside for two days straight now, <laughs> and it's gonna be six days. And then we're this so bug, we're so good. And there's this bug, like literally the size of my finger, and it has a stinger, half its body size. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, ah, Christine's like has her boot. Ah! Anyways, I know. And we're gonna just try to enjoy my wrap in peace. We finished lunch. What was the rating on lunch, Christine? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Okay, I'm sorry. Having like real tuna on the trip and not something dehydrated is a luxury. Yes. To the salad, yes. Fresh veggies, what? <laughs> that was good. Beautiful spot, and we're on our way. We have six, uh, seven more K, six to seven. I'm telling myself it's only six, but and we ran into a uh, other hiker who said that there's amazing swimming. There's a family of beavers, with lots of fish and loons. So we cannot wait. I think the camera's gonna pick this up, but we were going downhill and we we're like, yes, campsite soon, we're by water. No, they make you like go all the way back up. And we just came down. We got it, yay! <laughs> Made it. Woo! Oh, oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I saw your ankle just like completely twist. Oh, the trail's actually, it, look, it looks like it's wider than it is. Here, do you help? <laughs> <laughs> is it hurting? <laughs> it, it's a little tender. <laughs> trail broke. <laughs> I was on the trail. I was gonna say we made it. <sighs> Beauty. Is there multiple then? Or do you think it's just... Oh. This is magical. So we made it. 13K was a lie. We did 16K, but we did it. I ended up losing my water bottle on that fall, but luckily Christine has two. This is the nicest campsite yet, I think, compared to last night. Last night was beautiful, but this is an open lake. It's yeah. called Silver Lake, you said? Yeah. Silver Lake. I already see two loons right there. I heard there's beavers from a hiker that we passed. Look at the setup. We're gonna set up and cook right in front of the water. I can't, I just can't. We need a, a big rinse off. <laughs> We're gonna get comfy and have some yummy food. Loons here as promised and we just found the beaver dam right here. Now, 
you're gonna see these random cottages and it's gonna make it look like we're not like in the middle of nowhere. Now before, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, before I continue that thought, let me show you this. So like I was saying, you're gonna see all these cottages and it's because Killarney National um, Provincial Park wasn't always around. And so there's some people that had these really off the grid cottages around here. And when the Provincial Park came to be, they were grandfathered in. So there's people that get to go on these such remote lakes and they have like basically the lake almost to themselves. So that's why we're all of a sudden seeing these places, but no one's there, all the shutters are closed. So kind of have this little, little oasis to herself. We are going to go in for a little swim, get some water in us and enjoy some dinner. All right, talk soon. That is cold. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. This might be the most satisfying day of my life. <laughs> okay, as soon as the beaver goes away, look at what shows up. A bunch of turtles. Like a bunch of turtles just coming up. All these ringlets are turtles coming up and eating the bugs. Literally right there, right there. And we're like standing like right here. You can basically just call a Snow White. <laughs> Literally all these animals. Up the waterfall. Spring last night. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the blue one, but like weathered. Dropping these on our head. Looks like uh, like Louise. Thank you for watching, and always remember to celebrate those small wins.